By the time you see this video, spring will have sprung, hopefully, and uh, after a bitter winter, um, it's nice to get some wines together with a little bit of freshness and optimism. So the wines um, have been selected for their brightness, their purity to usher in the new season. Um, You'll be looking at reds which have uh, a nice weight of fruit but aren't too heavy and dense like the winter reds that we've had before. And whites without any oak at all, just an expression, a pure expression of the fruit. And that, that again reflects the, 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 the new season. The wines we'll be tasting today, I'll be showing you today, a Chilean Cabernet from the Central Valley. I've got a Chardonnay from Australia, from uh, the hills in Australia. I've got a Romanian Pinot Grigio, and I've also got a South African Chenin Blanc from Bush Vines. So the wines we'll be tasting, we're going to start off with um, 16 Little Black Pig Chardonnay, which is made by our man down under, Steve Grimley. Now, this wine is special, uh, and it suits the season because of its brightness. This brightness is based on a great dollop of fruit in it, the Chardonnay fruit in it, is from the Pathway, which is much cooler. So um, it's a cooler climate, and then you get more brightness and more freshness and more intensity. So you get a lovely pear, a pear and apple on the nose. Jumps out the glass, it's exactly what you want. There's no oak whatsoever. On the palate, the first thing that hits you is that crunchy apple acidity, straight through. So. The whole thing is structured around that. This is a wine to drink on its own, for sure, or you could have it with food, no problem. Seafood, probably the best for that. But lovely, bright and crisp. Moving on, um, we have a Pinot Grigio from Romania. This is our Dragon Hills. Now, this is from a company called Rekash. Um, they've been planting, they've had van vines planted there since 1447. So it's in the Carpathian Mountains. It's steeped in history, Dracula, etc., etc. Um, but they have very, very good vines and they're at a little bit of altitude and again this suits that fresh style we're looking for. So Pinot Grigio is not just Italian, it's, that's got lovely orchard fruit on the nose. It's pin bright, very clean. That's very pure on the palate. It's a similar kind of palate with different flavours to the last wine. This wine I would argue is better than most Italian Pinot Grigio at this level. It's really, really good, very clean and clean as a whistle right through to the finish and a cracking wine to drink on its own. Next wine, Billy Bosch, which is um, an old vine, bush vine version of what we've done before. Bush vines don't sound very exciting, but they are exciting because they produce a very small quantity of grapes, but more intense. So these are very old vines and you'll see this reflected in the intensity and, and the, uh, the fruit drive of this wine. That's very, very good, Shannon knows that. It's a, there's a bit of pear, there's lots of apple. And there it is, you get much more intensity. That wine has got, it's got genuinely compelling fruit, really fresh on the palate, but with flesh too. And that's what you need, that, that is balance. But my goodness, that's old vine purity right there. The one red that I do have for you, a Chilean Cabernet, Monos Locos, our crazy monkeys. We've had this for a long time. I sourced this wine on a motorcycle trip down there um, from a lovely winemaker called Jenny. Um, she's still there after all these years. Uh, and she's still doing her thing. And her thing is amazing because Cabernet from Chile used to be, used to call it donut wine. It had a, a hole in the middle. This does not. It's pure, fruitful, wonderful expression of the Central Valley um, vineyards that they have there. Jumps out the glass, lovely, soft, even handed fruit. There's no interference from oak here. This is um, purely based on the fruit that you get from the vine. So you get that lovely, soft red fruit. A degree of freshness and absolutely no interference from oak at all. Very, very good wine. I mean, you can have this with all manner of all manner of food, from meat right through to salads, because of the weight of it. It's a medium weight, lovely Central Valley Cabernet. And that's what I have for you um, from the selection. So in addition to the wines you see here, which we've tasted together, there's also four other lovely wines. There's a pair of Shirazes, which shouldn't put you off that they're the same, because one of them is a very dense, lovely Australian version. And the other one is from the Cape, and it's a single vineyard Shiraz, which is a, a completely different style from the same grape. In addition to that, we've got a Sauvignon Blanc from the south of France, 
And we've also got another very, very classic light aromatic uh, red from the south of France, a Grenache Sierra blend. So taken together, again, a fresh, lovely start to the new season.